Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. Today we're gonna to be making an adorably spooky window frame using items from the Dollar Tree. Those items will consist of chalkboard paint, a chalk writer, some craft sticks, and a small picture frame. Now you wanna make sure you find a picture frame with some thickness on the edges to give some area to build onto. I'm not going to need the glass from this, so carefully remove the glass and just set that aside. We're going to take in our craft sticks. I'm going to start with one and we're going to take a pencil to make some edges or make some marks on the edges. I'm going to glue on the bottom. You can use scissors to cut this nice and thin. If they split or crack, that's okay. It just gives more character to the board since it is a spooky old house. Or you could use the X Acto blade to score and snap as well. That little placard at the bottom really benefits because I'm needing a bevel. And gluing that right over it gives me an instant bevel. So when I add the second piece, the bevel will continue. And we're just building up on our siding. We're going to take another craft stick and mark the sides. And these will continue the siding up both sides of the frame. And again, you can score these. You can cut it with scissors. You can even snap it by hand. In fact, the more uh, cracks and edges, uh, splinters, the better. And you can see I put one side here other side as well to match. I'm going to put a few more up top to complete the siding. I'm going to take a few more craft sticks and add one on each side to start the window frame. Once those are glued on nice and straight, take another craft stick for both the top and the bottom and just overlay the two. As so with the glue gun. And there you go. So we've got the window basic so far. Now we're going to build onto it with the boards used to close up the house, if you will. Now these sticks can definitely be broken with your hand, nice and rough, once you get a good measurement of which time. I'm only going to use two here because I want to leave enough negative space to have whatever is inside peeking through visible. But yeah, you can take it, break it with your fingers, and even take an X-Acto blade if you like, and to uh, roughen up the edges even more, give it a lot more character. As you can see right here, hot glue those two on, that looks out great. Let me give it a little color right now, so I'm going to use some stain and give it a nice coat. It looks great, it's looking really good, but a little too clean. So what I'm gonna do is take a sanding block and just kind of give a little bit of a rough around the edges, really weather it up a little more. There we go, this is looking really great. I also took a Sharpie, if you can see, I made little dots to show that there were nails holding the boards in the window. So that part's looking really good. Now we're gonna take the back of the frame that we removed earlier along with some chalkboard paint. We're gonna paint that black I also cut out a couple pieces of cardboard the same shape because I want to make alternate windows to switch out. Once those are dry, we're going to take out that chalk marker. And this one, I'm going to do some scary eyes. A little wider of a tip on this chalk writer than I was uh, expecting. So what I wound up using once I got these shapes in was a Sharpie just to emphasize the pupils after. But whatever works for you. You can even use white paint if you like. I just wanted to give this an item a try since it was from the Dollar Tree. And it's working pretty well. Place it back here and see how it looks. Look at that. Spooky yet adorable. And again, with the other uh, panels I painted, I decided to go with an option of having a ghost peeking through. Love, this is actually my favorite one. And then uh, since the chalk mark was too wide, I had to use some paint. I just did a few hanging spiders with a web. And there you go, lots of options. Let me know what you decide to have peeking through the window. I'd love to hear that in the comments. Thanks for stopping by. Check out the links below for other DIY crafts I have. And happy Halloween. Stay safe out there.